If you're on the lookout for a travel camera backpack that seamlessly accommodates a compact, fully equipped camera rig setup and also carries your gimbal, then stick around because this might be what you've been looking for. This is the iFootage Viva 35 backpack and I have been using it for a little over a month. This has a solid build quality, the exterior fabric and zippers are water resistant, they will hold up to accidental spills or in light rain, and if you happen to find yourself under some heavy rain, there is a well hidden zipper pocket on the bottom of the backpack and this has a waterproof bag that you can use to keep your backpack dry. The backpack has a sleek and elegant design, the leather looks great, I also like the subtle red accents all around it. The overall build quality on this is good, but on the water bottle side there is this fold that doesn't look very pleasing, not a big deal just something that I thought looked a little odd since it interrupted the flow of the design. Besides that, the entire design looks really good. This backpack has been very comfortable to carry around. It has a slight natural curve design to match the curve of your spine. The breathable padding is thick and there are large channels for air to flow to your back. As for the shoulder straps, it has a good amount of padding and there are multiple attachment points if you want to latch something onto it. Now to help with the weight of the backpack when fully loaded, this has a sternum strap and a waist belt that helps distribute the weight of the backpack and reduce the strain on your shoulders. Now the awesome thing is that the waist belt is completely removable, so you can simply slide it out when you don't need it and then put it back in when you do need it. The backpack has a top handle and it also has a side handle on both sides which lets you move the backpack around when you're loading it or unloading it. As the name suggests, this is a 35 liter backpack and it's the perfect size for someone who needs to carry a little more gear than what your standard 20 to 25 liter backpack can hold. The water bottle pocket can be used to keep either your water bottle or to slide in your tripod leg in there. There is a buckle strap on the top to secure the tripod and you can adjust it. Now depending on the thickness of your tripod leg and the size of the water bottle that you'll keep in here, you can keep both your water bottle and the tripod leg in there at the same time. Now going over to the laptop compartment, this will hold up to a 16 inch laptop. I have the 16 inch Gigabyte Aero Creator laptop and this is a chunky laptop. It's almost an inch thick. Even though this laptop is thick, I can easily slide it in and out of the sleeve while the interior is packed down. There is no issue there. Now if you happen to have a laptop that is over an inch thick, then it might be a little tight in here. I do wish this pocket was a little wider though, or that it was a little stretchier, because when I zip it up, it's a little tight. The laptop feels like it's being compressed. There's also a pocket for your tablet in here, and it uses a magnet to keep it closed. My 12.3 inch Samsung Tab S8 fits in here just fine, and even my 12.3 inch Surface Pro 9 fits in here. Now I can't carry any of these if I have my laptop in here, it's either one or the other. But if you have a slim laptop, you can get away with carrying both. Now on the top here, there's a pretty wide zipper pocket to hold some accessories, and this is where I like to keep my lens wipes. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the interior pocket. The interior has a light gray color, making it easy to see what's inside. I really like this backpack because it has just the right amount of storage for all of my gear. The dividers are customizable so you can remove them and rearrange them to your liking. The dividers have soft padding and these are very thin so they don't take up too much space while providing some good protection to your lenses and other items. There are also two clear zipper pockets on the flap here that can hold some loose items like cables and other small accessories. My favorite thing about this backpack is the front pocket for your gimbal. This front pocket has a magnetic clasp that I really like. It makes it very simple to access this pocket. You can tighten it down or loosen it up depending on how big your gimbal is. There are zippers on the side that allows the pocket to open up a little. The great thing about this is that if you are in a hurry, you don't need to zip up the zippers. Just make sure you secure the magnetic strap and you are good to go. I do wish this flap opened up a little wider to let you see what the interior looks like. There are some straps inside here to hold your gimbal down. I only use the bottom one since the RS3 isn't that tall. There are also a few elastic pockets in here. I use them to hold the base for my gimbal, and I also have some mints and eye drops in here. This is by far my favorite compartment. Now going back to the main compartment, the way the dividers came arranged was perfect. I only had to do slight modifications, but all of my gear fit in perfectly. I mostly do video work and I like to rig out my camera, so that's what you'll see most of in here. The camera space is big enough to store my Panasonic GH5 Mark II, and it has a camera cage on it to attach handles and other accessories to it. I also have a base plate on it so I can quickly mount it on a tripod or my gimbal. The lens that is mostly on this camera is the Leica 12-60 and there's still a bit of room left in here. I can also have my slightly longer 35-100mm to lens on the camera and it will still fit inside this pocket. It's perfect, I don't have to worry about swapping out to my shorter lens to make it fit. The nice thing about this section is that you can access it from the side very quickly to get your camera out without needing to put your backpack down. The inside of the flap has a clear zipper pocket with a couple of elastic straps to throw in some SD cards and other small items. I haven't really decided on what to keep in there, for now I just have a D battery and I use this pocket to store my Bluetooth earbuds. In this pocket I keep the handles for my camera cage and there's a side handle and a top handle. These use the NATO rail system so I can quickly pop these on and off without the need of a tool. 
This piece here is my mini magic arm that goes on my gimbal and it holds my external monitor. And that monitor is right over here. This is a 6 inch monitor from Fear World and the colors on this is not that great but it does the job. I have the HDMI cable and USB-C cable just thrown in there. Even though I mostly film during the day, I also have a small RGB light just in case you never know when you'll need it. In this top pocket, I have my battery pouch and I really like this pouch because it can fold in half, making it a little more compact and it fits right inside my bag. So inside here, I have two MPF batteries and I use these to power my external monitor when I'm not using a V-Bound battery to power it. On the other side, I have two batteries for my camera and one is a dummy battery. Now in this top pocket, I have my hard shell memory card case. And below it, I have two V-mount batteries. I have a 2600 milliamp hour battery and a 6800 milliamp hour battery. I mainly use the smaller one to keep it light, but if I need more power for a longer time, then I swap it out for the larger one. And right below this, I have my wireless microphone for when someone needs to be mic'd up. And this is the DJI wireless microphone. I like it because it comes with a charging case and it keeps everything nice and tidy. Now on the side here, there's a large space, and this is where I keep my bulky 230 watt laptop charger. This is the second heaviest item in here. Right below it, I have my little contraption for my V-mount battery for my camera to mount on. Now adding all of this to my camera does make it heavy, but the added weight does help stabilize my camera when I'm shooting handheld. Underneath this, I have my neck strap, and I hardly ever use this because I either have my camera on my gimbal or I have it all rigged out. Now in this last pocket here, I have my sling arm for my gimbal, and this helps me get more control since it distributes the weight of the gimbal. Now going back to the zipper pocket, on the bottom one, this is where I like to keep my portable SSD and my external SD card reader. This is also where I like to keep my USB-C cable that I use to charge my camera with. In the top zipper pocket, I have a couple pouches, and in the first pouch, I have a few microfiber cloths. In the second pouch, I have a metal multi-tool card, and in the third pouch, I have another multi-tool, and this has Allen wrenches of different sizes for putting together and taking apart my rig. And that's about everything that I carry inside this backpack. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how much gear you can fit inside this backpack. Overall, this is the perfect size backpack for someone that is filming or photographing weddings. There's enough space for most of your essential equipment, and I would highly recommend you check this out if you have a gimbal that you would like to carry with you alongside all your other equipment without needing to carry two bags. I will leave the link in the description in case you want to check it out. Alright, so that does it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Go ahead and drop a like if you found this video helpful, and subscribe for more tech-related videos, and I will talk to you on the next one.